Pet Love with Pat's Two Cents with a testimony from one of our YouTube viewers named, codenamed, Power in the Blood. Listen, Jesus Christ, King of Kings, washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. Matthew 26, verse 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Testimony. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona, March 25, 1980. Living in a broken home with very little hope. At the age of 16, I started using drugs and alcohol as a way to escape my life. Growing up in a Catholic background was a sure ticket to heaven. I was wrong. <laughs> I knew that I had faith as a child and was raised with knowing who Jesus Christ was. I never knew the entire story uh, of how great he is and what he did. Living in bars and drinking myself into oblivion, was my routine. Soon after I was able to get into bars legally, I knew I had a, destin a destiny. I never knew it at that time that my destiny was procrastinated due to my irresponsible behavior and poor choices. I morphed into the entertainment industry and was swooped up by the devices of the enemy. I trusted in this business. I thrusted into this business with a passion to be someone else other than myself. Having an alter ego, or as it would be known, I was living a double-minded life and was stagnant in my alcohol and wickedness. Eventually, I got sucked into the demonic side of porn. I thought it was normal and accepted it. Eventually, I started to put porn ahead of my family, friends, and ultimately my entire life. Breaking point. I knew I had a problem and realized that I engulfed myself in such a disgusting demonic habit that almost killed me. Now you may say, it's normal, everyone does it. I couldn't stop. Something took over me every time I engaged in the triggers that had become second nature to my existence. I didn't want to say anything to anyone for fear of humiliation, mostly that my deepest, darkest secret would be exposed. Well, eventually, exhausted by life and its relentless beatdowns, I gave up. On August 1, 2016, I said the sinner's prayer in attempts to give Jesus Christ a try. I threw everything out in a garbage bag. I said to God, show me what you can do for me. I give up. That night, I went to sleep feeling empty and beyond exhausted. At 10.30 p.m., I rose from my bed with a feeling of a presence within my room. If I knew what was going to happen next, I would have changed my life eons ago. I heard a voice say to me over and over, Do not fear. I am always with you. First, I thought I was crazy. Then, <laughs> in that moment, Jesus spoke to me and said, It is time. My first initial reaction was, I finally lost it. The Lord said to me, Jeremy, you have been living unholy, and I cannot come to unholiness. Jesus said, it is time. I am coming for my people. You need to warn everyone of what is to come. The Lord allowed me to rest for a moment. 
I laid on my back and felt God's hand pluck something from my chest. I heard an audible voice say, my name, Jeremy, get up, get dressed. Naturally, I did what I was told and went to sleep. <laughs> I didn't realize at that time God was testing my obedience and naturally I did what I was told. Three days later, I had a dream where I was in a bar and sitting across from me at a pool table was Satan himself. He looked like a normal man with a menacing expression. He leaned toward me and said, you think Jesus will save you? Very boldly, I leaned in and said, absolutely. Throughout this short journey, I have repented and turned from my life completely. No more secular TV, secular music, no porn. Praise Jesus. My ultimate choice has been to celibate, has been to be celibate. When Jesus freed me from my porn addiction, I knew in that moment it was by his hand. No counselor, psychiatrist, friend or family member could break the chains I had for so long. Today I live with, for Jesus and will never go back to that life of wickedness. I am truly free from Satan's demonic grip of porn. I hope this story has encouraged you. If you have an addiction and can't seem to get over it, give Jesus a try. I did. And I have never felt more free. If you want to give your life to Jesus, please click the link below. God bless you. Thank you for listening to my testimony. Mm. And I'm going to uh, type in the link below later on, probably tomorrow, because I'm getting tired. I'm just going to uplink the video right now. But it's HTTP www.allaboutgod.com forward slash sinners dash prayer dot h t m if you want to look it up sooner now I say to that that is a beautiful testimony and I appreciate thank you Jeremy for, for sharing it now, I hope that some of you who heard that testimony will actually do this. You will pray the sinner's prayer. Now, Jeremy provided it. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to read it for those of you who want to finally get off the endless treadmill to nowhere and find out who your God truly is. Sinner is a word that gets a bad rap these days. And well, it should. Unfortunately, the bad rap is getting, it's getting is for the wrong reasons. Confronted with our shortcomings, we are quick to defend ourselves with words like, I'm not a sinner. I don't go around sinning. I've never murdered anyone or anything like that. The problem is we don't really know what the word sin means. We think it only applies to some despicable act that repulses church people who want to hang big scarlet letters around our necks. But sin simply means to miss the mark, to fall short of the goal. The fact is, we are all sinners, for there is no one save Christ alone who has lived a life that did not in some way fall short of the perfection God requires. We all deserve to pay the penalty of that sin, which is to spend eternity in hell. Now, I'm going to skip down for the sake of time on my video, and this is the sinner's prayer. Father, I know that I have broken your laws and my sins have separated me from you. 
I am truly sorry, and now I want to turn away from my past sinful life towards you. Please forgive me and help me avoid sinning again. I believe that your son Jesus Christ died for my sins, was resurrected from the dead, is alive, and hears my prayer. I invite Jesus to become the Lord of my life, to rule and reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey, fill me, and do and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Next, if you decided to repent of your sins and receive Christ today, welcome to God's family. Now, as a way to grow closer to Him, the Bible tells us to follow up on our commitment. Number one, get baptized as commanded by Christ. Tell someone else about your new faith in Christ. Spend time with God each day. It does not have to be a long period of time. Just develop the daily habit of praying to him and reading his word. Ask God to increase your faith and your understanding of the Bible. Seek fellowship with others with other believers, other followers of Jesus. Develop a group of believing friends to answer your questions and support you. Find a local church where you can worship God. Mm -hmm. Well now, welcome to the family. God bless you. You know what to do from here. And may God keep you as the apple of his eye.